Hello, good evening, afternoon. Dwayne Miller here with RV Adventures The Millers. Today, um, tackling a little project. Uh, anybody that's got the uh, newer um, Sabres, uh, probably some other Forest River products, they are putting in these uh, USB charging ports. But if anybody's noticed, um, these things are low power and they also have this very annoying LED light on them that's lit all the time in your bedroom, in the main galley. It's very annoying having these LEDs, especially in the bedroom. So I found um, some replacements on Amazon that are three amps per plug and they're Qualcomm certified, which means that they will do the fast charging. So. I'll show you one of the uh, ports I took out and what I'm doing to modify it. So here I have one of the plugs. Um, I put it back together just to show you. Uh, this is what's in the wall. It's uh, 12 volts in, positive, negative, and um, as you can see there is that little annoying LED light that's lit uh, whenever 12 volts is present, which is all the time. No way to turn it off. So, um, what I found is that um, a one and a quarter inch hole saw will perfectly cut this out of the entire uh, plate, leaving you a uh, nice round hole that you can install this little fella. Get it in focus here. Um, as you can see right there on it, if it will focus sometime or another, it is a QC 3.0 certified device. So um, all it has on the back is positive and negative spade tips. Um, it has a screw collar so that you can mount it into uh, a one and a quarter inch hole. So in this case, I will be mounting this new USB charging port back into the cover plate of the one that I drilled out. I cut the wires on the old one in the wall. I will um, crimp on two spade tips, plug these on, and also tape them into place so that uh, they're secured and make sure they don't uh, work their way loose going down the road. So I'll uh, get this thing put together and I'll uh, show you where I'm installing it uh, back into the wall. Quick shot here. Um, here is the um, one and a quarter inch hole saw. I just removed the uh, center tapping bit out of it and uh, am able to drill out the old center USB ports from the bracket. So here's what you have um, in your wall. Um, here's the factory installed hole where the uh, USB port uh, was installed. Uh, wire connectors. Um, your white wires are your negative and your white with red stripe are your positive. As you can see here they have them connected because the ports that come in the camper um, are wired uh, straight into the connector. There's no uh, spades or anything uh, to connect them. So I just cut them off and then I'm going to put some uh, 90 degree spade connectors back on here. Um, the reason why I'm going to use these 90 degree spade connectors is um, so I don't have uh, the connector sticking way out the back of this because it does have to go into these shallow walls. So I'll uh, get these connectors on here and uh, we'll show you some more. So we can see here I have the 90 degree spade connectors on here, uh, positive and negative, and they're, the back of the uh, USB charger is marked 
there's a negative on that side and there's a little plus mark um, on this side next to that spade terminal so you don't have to guess at it so there's uh, there's our connectors so here I've uh, added uh, vinyl electric tape um, to the rear of the connector uh, wrapping this around the spades so that uh, they're held on there and the reason I'm doing this is just a little extra precaution so that uh, making sure that during the vibration of road trips and stuff that uh, these don't uh, possibly work their way off of these connections. So. And here we have the USB port back in the original installation location and hole and it is live and powered. And if I turn off the bedroom lights, oh wow, look. No annoying little LED light shining in the bedroom. Um, I don't know what person had the bright idea of putting all these LED uh, illuminated devices in these bedrooms. Uh, between two of these USB ports, um, these light switches on the wall, and if you, uh, my television here has this stupid little blue LED light on it when it's off. You put all these things together in a bedroom and it's like the, the, the sun's out. It's crazy. So, um, I will post a link where I got these off of Amazon and uh, I tested uh, this with my phone. My phone was about 50% uh, battery and I plugged it in and my phone which is a Samsung Note 10 went into fast charge and said it would take it from 50% to 100% in under uh, an hour. So, but, uh, all these new devices, uh, iPads, Samsung tablets, all the iPhones and new stuff they, they all have this fast charge and if you don't have the uh, amperage in your USB port to uh, give it that uh, supply it wants, it will not uh, fast charge for you. So, thanks for watching and remember to click like and subscribe.